show it every day, we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day, we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the What's up fellas, this is Coach KK coming back at you with some more of this good stuff. This is volume 12 part 3, Gun Stack Way Off. Let's get it. So this is part of the spread sets with formation shifting. That's why I'm showing you in real time how this thing go. I usually, on the first play of the game, whenever I get the ball, I usually go through all of the spread sets and start setting audibles, you know, through all of them. Sometimes you got to burn the first 40 seconds out, call time out, and burn those 60 seconds out. And sometimes you may even have to take five yards. That's how I like to do it because I like to set all of my audibles. And I like to put all my guns on the table and use them and pick them whenever I need them, you know, on the go. I don't want to be doing this in the third quarter and first quarter. You know, that's my little style of play. I like to set all this stuff. I wish there was a way you could save this stuff. So let's get it. As you can see, this is 11 personnel, one tight end, one running back, three receivers. But they're set up in a way that is two by two. Two on one side, two on the other side. So anytime I do all of these audibles that I'm doing, you know, they're congruent with each other. So once I start formation shifting, it's really not that much movement when I start audibling. So everything kind of looks the same, identical to each other. So as you can see, he just pulled his man in the middle right there. So we know he's in the middle. First play of the game, we're calling the halfback slip screen. We just want to really see where he at, fill him out, see what we can get. Nothing serious. We'll take two or three yards if we can. And here we go. We rack up over 10 yards, 20, 21 yards on the play, just like that. So I'll take it any day. Let's go. So we just filled him out. We notice he's in the middle. And one key thing about this formation the gun stack wide off is is you can if, as you look at it the two receivers on the left side they're lined up compressed inside the numbers okay that helps out for crack backs that helps out for the run game it'll help get these jet you know touch passes in quickly um, if they need to do slants and drags post snap they can get across the formation quicker than they can get usual when they're spread it out and they can also work the outside of the field. Now you see I'm stalling this play right here at the play clock screen. Because I want him to feel like I'm going through my playbook. I'm calling the same play again. The same exact run play. Zone fake jet. I'm using dummy hop routes out here just to throw him off. Keep him guessing. See how he went over there to the right side as a user. We just want to, want to throw him off. Keep him off his square at all times. I'm doing the same thing again. But yeah back to how the formation is aligned. Um, the left side is compressed the right side is open okay we got a tight end that's next to the lineman so he counts as a six lineman you see what I'm saying and it's open with Smith on the outside the numbers so it's situations where we can catch him with one-on-one -on -one fades one-on-one -on -one with quick slants drags smoke screens you name it it's out there one-on-one <laughs> -on -one isolation purposes everybody is pretty much isolated when you really look at it here we go he got him to bite Still biting. Boom. Split the cover two. Now, we seen the whole time he was running like a cover two type of concept. We were just waiting on our moment to strike, you know, to hit the kill switch. And usually when, I, when a guy is stuck in cover two, that's his primary type of defense. That's his base defense. What we do is we, we attack, attack, attack until we get like inside the 30, inside the 40 yard line. And then we just hit the kill play. You know what I'm saying? We just go for the shot. So that's how that thing goes. So he's kind of switching his defense a little bit. He's still in the middle. We do see that part. He's trying to fumble around with the cornerbacks. I'm still running the pre-auto motions. <laughs> Splitting cover two once again. And we'll see how he see how he responds. This is how he responds now. You know, nothing but success. This is how he responds. So here we got the slide release technique. Um, that play is called levels whenever we start doing it we hit him with the quick Omaha real quick because it was off coverage I had to throw that in real quick but here we go with the slide release technique if you look at Rager he's sliding to the outside and he's releasing back in that's a double move and it's a slow developing route um, 
usually the middle linebacker is the user right and whoever is in his peripheral that's who he's gonna attack now when you do the slide release rigor is going straight to the sideline so he forget about him you know what I'm saying and rigor comes right back so whoever your receiver is he's gonna come right back inside that's a slow developing route and it looks like he's going to the corner so he just go pick up anything else so that's why you can throw other little routes like your tight end on the street you can throw circle on a slant or something like that so that's how that thing go here we go just spread it out real quick just to keep them guessing I had to try to get the first down I, I went to the um, normal 45 base it didn't really work I took a wrong angle with the running back so here we go back with auto motion here we go kill him Devontae no his name um, Quez Watkins yeah Quez Watkins <laughs> that boy like a 93 94 speed so yeah use those this is when you can use those little 67 overall guys with all the high speeds with plays like this here we go got him guessing <laughs> Fake jet half back scene. Way to go, cat. Way to go, Coach Cat. <laughs> you gotta catch these guys off guard. You know, they'll give themselves away. Here you go. He's cramming the box. He's waiting for the middle. And we got a free look like we got a free release right here on the jet touch pass. Okay, nice way to play defense. He played defense real good as a user. You know, he kind of crashed the lanes and swarmed me to the sidelines. And that's what you got to do. You got to be disciplined on defense against plays like this. The way you're going to defend these plays, nice. He, he defended it wrong then because he was waiting on a run. Um, you, got, you can't be the user trying to make all the tackles. You got to gain tackle. You got to make sure you run people into each other. It's not about making the tackle first. It's about closing in all the gaps and filling in all the lanes. But... We got multiple weapons. Here we go on the fourth down. He's pitching his line, so we can't run inside. Got to run outside. We have a pulling right guard. We also have that fake jet right quick. So we just run behind everybody. And look at this. We go from the six to the end zone. Thank you. <laughs> As you can see, you got to have patience. Can't have your hand on the speed button with plays like this. This is the fake jet. QB pass power or whatever you want to call it. Fake jet pass, QB power, that's how it's called, whatever. We just know it's a QB design run. And we got the right quarterback to do it. Usually I play with Tom Brady, but you're you're just eliminated from that play with Tom Brady because he's only a 70 speed. <laughs> but yeah, so here we go once again. Formation shifting. The screen to the left looks good. I tried to do a dummy move by moving that guy over there to the right side. And it worked a little bit. You know, once we moved the tight end to the right to the sideline, he had to keep his eyes over there so he couldn't follow the screen. So those are the little psychological games, the mental games that you got to play. Look at him creeping with his safety. Look at him creeping with the safety. Look at them blocks. Look at them blocks. I did good by not going inside. You know, when you're running jet touch passes, you got two options. You can cut inside quickly or you can just burn them to the sideline. And when you burn them to the sideline, you got to make sure you get the blocks. Now, times like that, they're doing cover too. And you got to play close attention to detail. You got to pay close attention. Now, this play was literally curl flats, but we hot routed Smith to a streak. And we want to split the cover too. Pew! Now, you get a small little window to do that. And you got to be very tactical with this thing. And what we're doing is put a, we put a guy on the flats and we put a guy on the street. You have to make sure that if this don't work, you check down to the flats. And if he, it depending on the depth of his drop zones, will determine if you can throw this and try to split the safety in the corner right there. And that's how that thing go. <laughs> that was advanced stuff. You know, all users can't do stuff like that right there. That's that's laboratory work right there. So here we go once again with the slide release. He played low. We went high. <laughs> Those are the little mental games that you got to play. Here we go, flipping the formation over just to throw him off his square. He's kind of stayed disciplined. We didn't really get nothing out the deal. Um, at the same time, I'm trying to milk the clock and make sure he's limited to his drive next time he get the ball. Uh, we got the formation flipped over once again, trying to run that QB power. So this time he rolled the sideline with me and we cut the distance in half. Really more than half, so we went from the seven to the two. That's 
a big game right there if you ask me here we go he faked it ah good try should have been patient a little more we had circle on the dig route you know he narrowed his um route because we were closer to the end zone i like that ea put that in the game here we go slide release got him <laughs> hey he was he was waiting that was his fault you know that was his fault for trying to play everything with just one man and not use the ai ah, fourth down my ball give me that all right guys this is how this thing go as you can see gun stat why off the whole entire game you didn't see one drive when i had to get three points you know it was a turnover and i quickly got three points before halftime um didn't have enough clips to put in for that but yeah um essentially i, I used the gun stat why off the whole game and as you can see the whole formation was played like this i was very limited to what i can do you know because he stayed in the cover two the whole time and when guys stay in one defense you're limited to to what you can do against that defense you know what i'm saying so if a guy stays in cover three all game you're only limited to cover three beaters you can't do cover four beaters cover two beaters or whatever that you like to do so you have to just play x's and o's and this guy was like stuck in cover two concepts the whole way so i had to focus on not throwing picks up front and i went 100 percent this game so that play right there pretty much closed the thing out man this is coach kk i'll see you guys in part four of volume 12 assalamu alaikum Every day we be grinding And if you ask me We the best I'ma be like Yo that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do Every day we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us I'ma be like Yo that's us with the crazy flow